today we're going to be reading on a magical do nothing day by Beatrice Alemania. Because this month at the library we are celebrating being happy at home and finding magical things all around us right where we are. Here we go again. Me and mom in the same cabin, the same forest, the same rain, dad back in the city. Mom sat at her desk quietly writing while I destroyed Martians. Actually, I was just pressing the same button over and over again. I wished dad were here. What about taking a break from your game? Mom growled. Is this going to be another day of doing nothing? She was right. There was nothing I wanted to do except destroy Martians. She took the game out of my hands and hid it as usual. I found it as usual and went outside. where it felt like everything in our garden was hiding from the rain. I held my game tightly. Maybe it would protect me from this boring, wet place. I walked down the hill. At the bottom of our path, I saw some flat rocks in the pond. The rocks were round, like the heads of the Martians. I wanted to jump on them and crush them. Oh no, what did I do? My game fell in the pond. This could not be happening to me. I stuck my hand into the water to grab it. It was so icy cold that I screamed. Without my game, I had nothing to do. The rain felt like rocks were hitting me, and I was a small tree trapped inside a hurricane. Just then, there were four lights, and four huge snails appeared. Is there anything to do around here? I asked them. Yes, indeed, they told me. I reached out and touched their antenna. As soft as jello, it made me smile. So I followed them down a path and found dozens of mushrooms. The air was so damp. I knew the smell from when I was small. My grandparents' basement, my cave of treasures. I felt a sense that there was something special close by, that I was surrounded. I bent down and dug my fingers into the mud, where thousands of seeds and pellets, kernels, grains, and roots and berries touched my fingers and hands, an underground world full of treasures that I could feel. I looked up at the sky. Sunbeams fell down through a giant strainer and blinded me. I thought I heard the beat of drums from far away, but that sound was my heart. I felt filled up with energy and began running fast, so fast that I fell down the hill. And there at the bottom, everything was turned upside down. The whole world seemed brand new, as if it had been created right in front of me. I climbed a tree and looked out as far as my eyes could see. I breathed in air until my lungs were bursting. I drank the raindrops like an animal would. I noticed bugs I'd never seen before. I talked to a bird. 
I made my biggest splash. Then I collected smooth stones as clear as glass and watched the world shining through them. Why hadn't I done these things before today? Soaked to my bones, I ran inside the house, took off my coat and looked in the mirror. Oh, I thought I saw my dad smiling at me. My mother was there still writing, but now she looked different, like one of the creatures outside. Oh, you're soaked. I'll dry you. She took a towel and brought me to the kitchen. I felt like giving her a big hug. I wanted to tell her what I had seen, felt, and tasted in the outside world. But I didn't. We just sat in the kitchen, looked at each other, and breathed in the delicious smell of our hot chocolate. And that's it. That's all we did on this magical do-nothing day. The end. I hope you find something magical to do today, too.